Hey guys, welcome back to the Billy Mars channel. How's it going? Right? Hope you guys are doing good, staying home the best you can. And today we're excited because uh, we got our Universal Yums box. And not only just any Universal Yums box, this Universal Yums box is from the Philippines. Oh yeah. And if you've been on this channel, you'll know that we loved the Philippines box from last time. Now, we did, we weren't able to get the super yums. We just got the yum yum one. And it came with a bunch of great snacks. Some that we're glad to see returning. This one's a different. That one was good. Lots of good snacks. So, you know, we enjoyed it so much. We were really looking forward to this month. And as you can see, they've come such a long way. Um, let's, uh, read the clue for next, next month's box. Ready? Our next stop is home to tales we've adored about wizards, detectives, and the knight and his sword. But when it comes to the yums, we have a prediction. You'll love the toffees and crisps just as much as the fiction. Hmm. Do you know? Because we know. Yeah. Go in the comment section and let us know what your guess is. So let's go on and dig in here. Um, I've already looked through, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little upset with this box. Yeah. If I can be honest with you, I'll get to that rant after we um, get to some of these snacks. And also, you know, due to with the, the lockdown and everything, we're not able to share with our friends and family like we're used to. So we're not going to open everything in the box. We're going to pick some things that look good. And we're going to try those. So we don't have everything go stale, you know? So first we're going to start off. Where is it? There you are. You can be our shower again. <laughs> so, wait, is, that's not the first one. It's the first pick. Oh, it is. Start here. Now they're telling me what to do in here. I mean, the inside got a Ugh. major, major facelift. I mean, the inside looks amazing now. And, um, a double flavor. The uh, nutrition facts are on one page here in the back now. So, that's a big change. And, of course, with all your facts and trivia. Yeah, so let's do our first one. Boy, the long... Now this is adobo flavored. We love adobo. We love adobo. Best on chicken. Can I try this one? Um. No. Not yeah, try let's try it. it. We're gonna try it. Well, we'll try it. So these are adobo flavored corn nuts. And the corn nuts um, we tried in a few different boxes. They're really good. So yeah, let's try the corn nuts. I smell it. Yeah. Very strong. Thank you, sir. Ooh. So that's what they look like, corn nuts. Try them out. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love the texture on these. Oh, that's so good. Perfect flavor. Good texture from the corn nuts. What, is, what else do you have to say about it? Besides, this bag is going to be gone. This is really good. You want to give it a... Um, want to rate it? I give a... Uh, 10 out of 10. Wow. It's We're just starting off. Starting with the 10. <laughs> I'm all about the crunch. It's got good flavor. Yeah, you see it. Alright. So next is a... I don't really know how to pronounce this. Macapuno cake. Macapuno. 
it looks like it yeah macapuno cake with cream filling so this is a uh, open up the average coconut and what do you see we don't know either <laughs> it's made with a certain kind of coconut and uh, it's filled with a soft jelly like flesh so there you go it's a green looking cake with some cream in the middle I thought it was kind of going to be um, pandan or something because it's green. But let's move on. Next we have a Lips Color Burst Mango. I think that might be in our Yum's bag. Boy, they have us opening the Yum's bag so early. We usually do this last. Oh, there's two kinds of candies. That's what this is? Yeah. Alright, well we have a Lips Color Burst. We have the Mango. Mango, mango Hard strawberry. Candy. And then, yes, the Strawberry one. It's a little sad. I think our last box, we had three at least, three different candies. Yeah. That awesome Buku Pandan candy. <laughs> That was amazing. What's wrong with you, Philippines? Come on, Universal. Well, it's not the Philippines. It's the Universal Yums. They pick it out. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to our pulverone. <laughs> Show that off. This is the toasted rice, the Pity Pig. Pity Pig shortbread. This is a nice crumbly cookie, um, soft texture. And this is also the reason why I fell in love with Universal Yums. Specifically the purple ube ones. Those were super good. Um, so yeah, this one has like little toasted, um, I believe it's a toasted rice, toasted rice shortbread. Those are super addictive. Proceed with caution. <coughs> All right, let's go on to our next one. We have these chips. Um, he's barbecue. on it. He's on it. Yeah, so we have these spicy barbecue <laughs> sausage potato chips. So, a little spice, a little barbecue. The sausage <clears throat> should be interesting to try. It might just be like a smoky hickory flavor that they try to capture with all the meats. But yeah. should be good. Check it out. Yeah. Well, let's go <clears throat> on to our next one. And I went right to it. Look at that. This is the Choco Mucho Cookies and Cream. Chocolate cookie bar with caramel, it's crisp good. rice, and white chocolate. I was trying to see if these were the same ones as last time, but it's Chocolate not. Chocolate cookie center. Check that out. <laughs> oh yeah, with white chocolate. Hmm. Next. <clears throat> Where are you at, Bay? There you are. I'm excited for this because we've tried this one already. And, um, they're... The, the cupcakes, they're a little bit dry. A little bit dry for my taste. But as far as how they taste, they taste really good. Um, the ube flavor was nice. It was like, uh, it has coconut pieces in there. So, it tastes good. I mean, I can't really describe it unless you've had ube and, and the pandan. It's kind of hard to describe. All right, so the next go. one, the next one we already went through, the, it was the strawberry hard candy. But we have this next, and I hope it's still okay. It feels a little melty, I hope not. Chocolate cake with salted caramel filling. It's a fudgy bar, salted caramel. That actually sounds really good. Look at that filling in the middle. Right there. Oh, nice. Nice. <clears throat> All right, eggies. 
I think that so far this is like the cutest looking thing in the box to me. How cute is that? You gotta try it. Egg bites. Yeah, we'll have to try that. Ooh. Mm. I don't really know how it's gonna be textured. Those so egg cookies. Oh, they look like actual cookies. I thought they were gonna be little balls, little round balls. It just tastes like a cookie. Yeah. Like a Nilla wafer. Yeah. I don't taste any egg. They're good. Really crunchy. Crisp, good crunch. The texture's nice. I don't really know. Hmm. I mean, they're good. I'll give them a nine. They're sweet. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're very sweet cookies. Sweeter than Nilla wafers. A little better texture, too. <clears throat> You'll probably give that a nine. It's not bad. Then. Let's go on to our next one. This one looks pretty weird. These are butter and cheese flavored corn puffs. Sweet butter. butter. Oh, yeah, it is. Sweet butter and cheese. <clears throat> hmm. That'll be interesting to try. Next, now this is a good size box here. These are soft cookies with mango bites. It's a nice box for sure. Bits, I can't read. Mango bits. We're gonna try these. Right here, right here. I'm an animal. I was just gonna just tear it up. Okay, well, maybe it wants you to just tear it up. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that was not what I was expecting. These are individually wrapped. We'll split one. Oh, they're soft cookies. Yeah. Let me see if you can see it on the box. Let's see if they look like that. Ooh, they look good. They're small. <laughs> they are small. <laughs> That's like a one bite. That's a one biter. Like a 50 cent Smells piece. good. A half dollar. You can smell the mango. I really taste the mango. Like fresh mango. Like mango from the market stand. I can feel the bits as you chew the cookie. And the cookie kind of just melts. The cookie's soft. It's totally different than any cookie I've ever had. Yeah. No, it's a very soft cookie. <clears throat> it's um, so different. Yeah. I give that a 10. Total 10. Not like a real sweet mango, but it's it's pungent. Really good. That might be our gem of the box. Next we have the Choco Mucho. This is a chocolate wafer roll with caramel, crisp rice, and dark chocolate. Look okay. at that. That looks good. Looks good. Looky, looky good. <laughs> All right. Next, we have these chocolate delight or chips delight peanut and caramel chip cookies. That's a mouthful. And they definitely don't feel soft. Cookies with peanuts and caramel chips. You might want some some milk with these. They might go really good with some milk. Especially <clears throat> since it has peanut butter. Okay. Um, we're just going to go on page. I'm not sure how they wanted me to go about it. Um, these are beloved local flavors. 
we have the banana thins honey dips now these are honey coated banana chips and we have already tried these because those were so tempting so they're sliced bananas very thin see how they're glazed with the honey and it's sweet but the the texture because it's so thin and it's not like a, your typical banana chip it's amazing it's like nothing we've had before definitely never had anything like this before these so, are good these are really that's good. a 10 definitely that's that's a reason to, to try it anyways it's like the best version of a banana chip all right we're gonna move on next oh i didn't really realize this is from boy Bawong too boy Bawong. And if my memory serves me right, that means garlic. Boy garlic? Hmm. All right, so this is the soy sauce and lime wheat snacks. Now, it's not with calamari, even though it looks like it's calamari. But it's a soy sauce and lime wheat snack. I'm going to pop that open. Let's try that. There's a little thing here to open it. other stuff out. We're almost done, you guys, actually. Yeah, okay. Good size bag. Yeah, I think that's the, the biggest bag in here. We also got that big box of the mango chips. Oof, there's soy sauce, for sure. i smell the soy I'm sauce. I'm scared. I'm not big on soy sauce. Good size. Really salty and limey. Yeah. It's not. It's not horrible. It's just weird. The texture of the chips is really good, actually. I like how it breaks. Okay. I think once I get used to this, I could totally like this. The lime comes off very strong. Yeah. If yeah. you like lime and soy sauce, there you go. No, if you don't like soy sauce, try it. I don't like soy sauce. And the lime overcomes the soy sauce for me. I can taste the soy sauce, but it's not the worst. It actually <laughs> tastes pretty good. I would recommend trying it, even if you don't like soy sauce. Mm. All right, we're going to move on to our last few items. We've got these chips next. These are buffalo wing and cheese corn puffs. So, almost everybody likes buffalo wing. But I've never had it with the cheese and never in corn puff form so yeah. we'll see this sounds pretty good though maybe I wonder if it's spicy buffalo it is it says the volcanic lava the heat slowly creeps up on you but unlike lava it's delicious <coughs> all right huh so it should still be good next speaking of good can't really go wrong with sour cream and onion potato chips, right? I mean, really, if you don't like sour, who doesn't like sour cream and onion chips? Go in the comment section and let me know that too. I know I do though. I'm curious about the texture of those as well. I wonder if they're thick and wavy. They look smooth. Okay, they look like Pringles. They're probably thin and airy. So next we have the Coffee Crunch Polverone. Coffee Crunch Polverone. Look at that. Oh. All right. So this is just like the uh, Pity Pig one we showed you. <coughs> and we've had the uh, Ube, the purple one before. Yeah. Good. You can actually get that on um, the Universal Yum Store. I don't see it now, but it was up there like a month ago or so. I didn't see it last time I looked. Very good. But, um, 
<coughs> we're gonna move on to our very last, very last treat here. This is another copy cake. This one's a different flavor. Now I mentioned this before. This is. They look so good. Buku Pandan. Look at that. So Pandan is like a flavor that they use. Like we use vanilla extract. They use the Pandan. So it's a sweet cake. And this also has coconut pieces in it. So. And like I said with the last one. You know they're a little dry. You know you're used to cupcakes with some icing. Some frosting on top. You're, you don't get that. But they do taste good. They're not like nasty yeah. cupcakes that are just dry. So with that being said, I'd like to go on my rant now. Because we've been doing Universal Yums for two years now. And most of them, I think only twice, we've got the medium box. Every other time has been the Super Yums, Super Yums box. Now we pay... $40 for this box because it's supposed to come with more things this month this box was so light it one. only came with one one, one polvoron of each kind one one of each cuppy cake why one. am I spending all all of this money we usually get doubles duplicates triples how are you supposed to split this yeah seriously if you have a big family and you were hoping to split some of these things that's not going to happen. Half of these chips are like snack size. One. You know, you look like you can get them for 50 cents at the store. Um, I'm not pleased with the amount of snacks that they put in this month. I just feel like we've always gotten more. That was the, the perk to getting the Super Yums box. To get more out of this. At least, and, at least out of these. They'd give you more of the smaller items. I mean, the chips, they wouldn't double up. Yeah, the chips don't double up. But, like, these cakes, the candy bars, you usually get two. The polvoron, you might get three or four. You know, things like that. And that's the why I'm upset young because bag. we paid the same price. And I just don't feel that it was worth it this month. But I think for me, too, I was so looking forward to this box. I was so looking forward to the Philippines box. Because, like I said, we only got the other sides twice. And that month that we did the Philippines, I couldn't afford to get the big one. So I had to get the medium one. And I made a promise because it was so good. I said, we're getting the Super Yums box. Next time the Philippines comes out, we're getting Super Yums. And I just feel like all this anticipation and built up and excitement. And it was just a letdown. Mm. Now, don't get me wrong. I super, I love super yum, uh, universal yums. I love them, but this box has me feeling like, why am I getting super yums? Why don't I just go to yum yum box? If that's the amount of stuff that they're gonna give out. And since I'm still ranting, that that month we had that missing item, and they're like, we're gonna give it back to you in our other box. Where is it? Where is that item? Because I have never gotten a notification or anything about. Um, them replacing it because they said they were but they haven't so that is my rant did I miss anything just disappointed with the amount of things in here the things that are in here some of the stuff we tried is really good really good but I wanted more polvoron that's what I'm upset about I wanted more polvoron I wanted more some of these um, smaller items and I just feel gypped just saying but I digress. Thank you for listening to my rant. Thank you for watching our channel. If you haven't watched some of our other boxes, go and check that out. And also, if you have not clicked subscribe, click it. Go on. Thumbs up. Click it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Two.